Cool. Right, guys, it's Blackman the Traveller, and right now I'm here with a very motivation inspiring person. And can you just tell the people who you are and what you do? Hi, everyone, I'm Montel Douglas, I'm an actor cool. from London. Yeah, man, it's me. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a minute, man. It's yeah. been a minute. How you been? I've been alright, I've been alright. How's things? Good, good, yeah. good, man. Life has, has, has blessed me yeah, in yeah. ways that I can't imagine, and I feel like. Just seeing the people that I grew up with around me just doing good things is just like, a nice feeling, really. So I'm proud of you as well, man, to see what you're doing. Man. Thank you. Best for having me on the pod as well. It's all right, man. So let me ask you a question. So yeah, basically, um, what's your background? What's your background, bro? Oh, so I'm Jamaican. Yeah. Um, so I was born here, but mm-hmm. majority of my family born in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, my household is very, very Jamaican. People will say I'm a yardie, all yeah, them yeah. kind of them sayings there. But um, yeah, so that's mainly my background. Um, grew up in London, South London specifically. And yeah, man, I've just been, just had dreams from a young age and just yeah. trying to like, trying to achieve them with the people around me. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically really me. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. 24, man. Okay, um, what made you, why acting? Um, There's question. so many things you could have done. Yeah. You know, especially when you brought up in London, a lot of people want to do football, people mm. want to pursue the career in the sports industry. But why acting? Like, why did you choose acting? It's a good question. Um. No, it's interesting because I like, I like sports a yeah. lot. Um, I feel like nearly everyone is. Everyone, everyone played out in the cage and whatnot. Yeah. I'll be honest, I probably wasn't that good at football, though, to yeah. be fair. And I'm a person, I like, I like to be the best or do my best in situations, you know what I'm saying? So, um, why acting? I think my first type of like inspiration when it came to anything performance-wise was like Michael Jackson. Michael you Jackson. Know, yeah, I mean, you know, like, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. like in like black families, like Michael Jackson was just like idolised to the point where Every kid is trying to do the new. I, I used to try. Sorry to cut. Sorry to cut off. I used no, to try no. to do the new when I was young as well. Bro, I remember that um, that film. Was it Thriller? Thriller. Yeah, yeah. I was Google inspired. Car, by that. I, inspired. I remember I watched a a show. I think it was um, Budapest or Belarus. One of the yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. And it was Jam 1998, and he jumps out and he stands there for like four minutes. Yeah. Doesn't move. The whole crowd is going. You see it? Four minutes. Four minutes. He doesn't move. Yeah, yeah. He turns his head once. At least seven people faint. And I'm like. How does he gravitate like gravitas all these people? Mm. And as I said, if I can like get a pinch of that in sense of like performance or just like engagement, I, I'll like I'll be so pleased with myself. Yeah. So I think that was something I was like, yeah, I liked it. I want to be Michael Jackson. Okay. So it was like dancing, performing, just like playing around, and then I feel like my mum saw that in me. Um, and was like. Um, let me take you to like drama school. So I was like going to Saturday schools. Yeah. I went to um, Italia Conti when I was like 12. Um, and then I was like going there every Saturday. But what was interesting was like, when you're going there, you're not seeing people like you every day. Yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. going to school, yeah. playing, I don't know, pound up or run out, so all these kind of things. And then you're going to schools where there's middle class people. So it was like a shift I was kind of I was never a shy person but as soon as I go to spaces like that I would like go in my shell but how did you feel as a person like deep down inside to because, be able to like, sorry to cut off yeah, to no, be able to go in that field and to come out of the comfort zone mm, and to learn something that like, you're not used to I think it's weird because it was mainly in between classes I'll be nervous but once I'm in the class yeah, yeah. I don't like I wouldn't care because I just had to be creative and have fun do you know what I'm saying so I think that was something I wanted to do long term and then when you get like 14, 15, um, all your friends are kind of like, you know, like playing around on the ends or yeah. just just chilling basically. And you kind of wanted to do that as well. And um, I had like, I had an older brother who was like in that kind of lifestyle. So I was aware of it from a young age, but like subconsciously and consciously, my family and me really was like, we're gonna not gonna put you around that. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? And my family really tried to help because I'm the youngest of seven. That's so, a big family yeah, man, you got there. Yeah, yeah, big family, man. Youngest of seven. Youngest of seven. So, like, wow. yeah, so my family purposely was like, we're going to make sure that you do the best you can, yeah. regardless of anyone's situation, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I really respect my mum and dad for that. And it's a mum's done a good job to raise yeah, man. Like you, man. And, and my dad as well. Like, I, yeah. I, I'm lucky enough to live with parents. Both, both parents. Yeah, yeah. And I'm aware that that doesn't always happen. A lot of my friends, like, their dad lives down the road yeah, or, yeah. or one of them things. I was, like, blessed to say, like, yeah, I had... Especially in the society that we live in, you know, it's it's a shame, but a lot of our parents tend to leave us at the same age, mm. obviously due to personal reasons. But yeah, okay, cool. So you so you got into acting at a very young age. Mm-hmm. 
and then what made you want to pursue that career like in the long term yeah so funny enough it was yeah. like secondary school i had a teacher um yeah. name is miss simpson big up miss simpson yeah big up miss simpson yeah right, bigger up man like yeah, she yeah. taught i think she taught ashley waters she ashley taught, was yeah, okay. yeah she taught um mo gilligan okay like so she was bigger up like yeah. um there's another actor jack rowan michael Ajo, there's so many talented people yeah. out there that she's taught um and yeah she was just inspiring like i would come in class and she would make sure like you love acting yeah. like, after school there's after school club you're doing drama um school productions you're in it like and i was like i love this this is great yeah. and it would keep me out of trouble like my parents would work two jobs so when i'm going home I might have one brother or sister, but they're all like in their teens and stuff. So they're not trying to look after their little brother. They're going about their business. So yeah, yeah. I knew that staying in school till six, seven o'clock was probably the best thing for me. Did your brothers and sisters ever like help you out in terms of like in roles or like to motivate you to keep pursuing I mean, your career in that time? Absolutely. Like not obviously directly, but they definitely was giving me words of encouragement. Yeah. And no one ever like ever said to me, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this, like until you can do it, yeah. you know, go for it, you can. I was always like, naturally I was intelligent in school, so yeah. I was doing like set one, set two, just like, just being a good student. Like, I, I never, it was never for me, you know, like when you were younger, it was cool to be bad. Like I never yeah. looked at it like that, never. Like I would have friends that maybe like that, yeah. but I never, I was comfortable with my own skin to, to chill with, you know, I don't know, the smart kids yeah. for class and then chill with the man them at break time. So you use it as like a social Yeah, type of I could I could mix them with everyone. Like yeah, I yeah. wasn't a type of person to just be in one corner. So yeah man, so she really like opened my eyes to acting mm. and then like I remember I'd be like fifteen, sixteen and we sit in a circle. Yeah. Like, what do you wanna be? And I was like, I wanna be an actor. Like, yeah, I, I yeah. wanna do it. like why can't I? Like yeah, yeah. I couldn't fathom why you can't be an actor. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So and my best friend, he had an older brother who wasn't also an actor as well. Yeah. So um, shout out to Ron Nugent. Um, so he like he used to do like West End shows and stuff like that. So I'd be okay. like 10, 9. So he was already established yeah, in the theatre. Yeah, so he was already cool. established. Yeah, yeah. And so like I'm seeing, I'm like, bro, like, bro, he, he can act. Like, yeah. I know like people that look like me yeah. can act. And then I went, I went college. I was like, yeah, cool, I'm going to do drama and stuff. And then what happened was... Um, I live, or I still do, but he yeah. doesn't live in, I live next to Dabson Idris. Okay. So Dabson Idris Snowfall, he lives like five doors down from me. You know what's so funny, yeah? Mad story, bro. Didn't Dabson, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but I went to drama school with you as well. Yeah. Didn't Dabson Idris come to our drama school? Yeah, he went identity, yeah. So the first time I met Big Up Dabson Idris, is a very, very Cold. good actor from the UK. Cold. And I'm going to ask you a question yeah. about him later. So the first time I met this guy, um, I was running late to mm. one of our classes. Thompson must have come out now. I remember this guy, he, he had the, the the most humblest personality and he had a very smile. Mm. When he smiles, he lights up the lights whole up room. The room man. Good guy. I was like, wow, like, this guy. And then I remember the first time I met him, the guy was like, what's your name? I said, oh, my name's Amir. Oh, okay, uh, what set you in? Mm. Oh, I'm in this set, da, 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 da. And he gave me some like, wisdom, like, bro, just keep doing, da, 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 da. So I was like, wow, oh, okay, yeah. So what, going back to you? Yeah, what man, nah, similar thing. So like, yeah. So he lived next door to me and he used to kick ball. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in my era, there was bare kids. Like, you could be five years older than you, 10 years, yeah. three years younger. Everyone's playing out together. Like, yeah. it wasn't another thing like, oh, old is younger. So everyone's playing out. So, like, one time there was, like, a family party around the area. And I'm like, no, I'm like, Dabson, like, what do you do? Because yeah. he's like, I'm, like, 16, 17. And he's, like, five years older than me. So he was, yeah. like, 21. And he used to go to school with my sister. Yeah. So I said, Dabson, what do you do? Out of curiosity, he's like, Oh, I'm an actor. Yeah. And my mind blew. I was like, wow, like, what? You're an actor? Like, I act. These times, like, I ain't been in nothing, but like, yeah, 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 in yeah. my head, I'm like, I want to be an actor. I was like, how did you do it? Like, yeah. how? And he's like, oh, yeah, I went to identity drama school. Oh, you should go. It's really good. Wait to tear. And I'm like, rah. I'm like, cool, man. I'm like, and I'm looking up at these times. I'm even smaller. And he's yeah, like six. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, wow, he's a tall like, guy. So I'm like, just is a tall guy. Yeah, man. So I'm like, yeah. wow, like, I literally thought the world of him before any success he's had now. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally. Just to, again, like I was saying, just to have representation on your doorstep. Like yeah. now, I had two actors who lived on my street. So and they were both black, and I know that goes a long way because yeah. when you're young, you know, like in our environments, most of the things we see that are glamorized are from maybe from negative like connotations and backgrounds. So, like you know, 
man them are driving the latest car the latest jewels and all mm. of that but how they got it may not be the right way so but as young people we still glamorise that because yeah, like, yeah. I want the car because that's what we know exactly the problem is it's like it's a shame but when you're part of the system mm. and the system glorifies in social media so then because you live in a system you're part of the system and then obviously you see the older generation everyone's driving the latest cars yeah. everyone's getting the latest girls and doing this there's really a lot of talented people that live in inner city London, mm. you know. But anyway, yeah, going back to what yeah, you said. Yeah, man, so so that was that. And then I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to go there. Yeah. So I remember um, I didn't even have a laptop or nothing like that. My sister had a hair salon. Yeah. Um, Melange Peckham is still there. She yeah, does yeah. kids and that. Got a big up. Big up your sister, man. Yeah. Um, I went, I used to go to like her, her computer. Yeah. I'm typing identity drama school. And I'm just seeing like Damson's at the face of it. John Bay, John Bay, Letitia Wright, yeah, Toby yeah. Bukhari. And I'm like, like, big up Toby. Toby big up big Toby. Up, big up Toby, Toby Bukhari, big up Toby. Man. I remember Toby. Toby. Toby was our teacher. Yeah, man. You know, a lot of people don't know this, like I said before. So I went to Identity and that's yeah. the first time I met you. Yeah, man. And then um, when I met you, you were very quiet in the beginning. Was I? Yeah, I don't know. If, that was like my... Probably I was. I was like, shy, man. I was shy like, My personality was very quiet. And then I remember when we had... Um, I think we had to do monologues, monologues or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember I done my monologue. I was like, cool. And I, I was a bit skeptical. Am I gonna get in? Am I not gonna get in? And then I somehow got in. And I remember like when we done like I remember, I remember like when we done like our first play. Mm. So when we done our first play, I was um, I was like, wow. Like, I felt I felt the like the unity, the connection mm. that all of us had together, 100%. you know. And that just like amazed me, you know, deep yeah. down. But um. I, that's when I realised that you were going to be something special. Thanks, brother, you man. and other people yeah. in the class as well. But I realised that you, because it's just the way sometimes you just like, because to be an actor, mm. you need to use your imagination. You know, you need to play a person that's not real. Mm. But in the audience's eyes, it's real. And you need to persuade the audience exactly what you're doing is real Absolutely. and authentic. So you go and so you said what? So you've applied for identity and then what was the next yeah, step? Yeah, so like, I applied for identity now. Yeah. And these times I'm like 16, 17, and I'm like, Mom, like, can you, can you like pay for my term? And she's like, she's looking at me different now because it's like I'm older. And yeah. I remember I used to go to Italia Conti when I was a kid. Yeah. So she was like, Well, you stopped going there. So why now? And I'm like, No, nah, but Mom, like this time, yeah. I'm going to be serious. Yeah. Um, and she was like, Okay. And I think, No, do you know what's mine? I think she paid for the first term, mm. and then I got like, uh, you know like EMA but it was like bursary yeah, 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 like, yeah. so I got like, that from, yeah, 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 so I got yeah, yeah. something like that from college innit like yeah. stuff like that cause from low income background so I was getting like a bursary of, like £200 and whatnot. Yeah. and I used to sell sweets like I used wow. to sell sweets in school and, and I was that guy like I used to be, the hustle man bro literally yeah. like I remember we used to have conversations like yeah, yeah. hey have you paid this term yet yeah 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 oh, hey, bro, we like, used to go through it yeah hey to... I remember one time yeah, <laughs> he was at the cash point yeah, yeah, yeah and we're both looking at the bank account it is tight <laughs> It's tight. I remember like, I, was, oh, I didn't want to give money. Bro. You know what it is? They were like, if you don't pay, you get out. You're getting kicked out. Bro. I remember we had like certain strikes in identity. Yeah. The way Femi, big up Femi, the way yeah, he, big him he up, runs man, that. Big him up. But the way Femi was organised in that drama school it was very disciplined and, you know, and it was it was, it was well organised. Mm. But there was a lot of people that faced personal problems yeah. to actually pay Yeah, it was, like, it was a hard thing. Yeah. I think it was difficult because like, now, one thing that identity was amazing that was like like I said representation and yeah. seeing that people from our backgrounds can achieve things but yeah. what was hard was to reflect that these things do still cost money 100%. and we can't just go oh why are you so expensive or what what not because the to hire out rooms to rent to, yeah. to build a, a a business you need to have money and yeah, so yeah. it was hard but like the people or like the dedication you'd find a way like, yeah. like while well, I respect myself and you like we always found a way. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they got to that point where it was kind of getting tight, but to the point where I could I could do it for, yeah, man, I, I, I did it for as long as I could. And then when Identity met you, we, like, we grew as, as a collective, yeah. did, some, did some good shows. And you know what I love is the fact that, like, there's a saying, like, if you didn't go and sit down in Uge East McDonald's there, yeah, yeah. you don't, you haven't dreamt about your dreams, man. Like, we used to just sit oh. there and just be like dream about a dream I remember man. so we used to go to this McDonald's mm. every day after after, after classes class, yeah. sometimes there were good days there were bad days and every single person mm. in there was saying what they want to do in mm. life everyone was setting their dreams and goals and ambitions 
And I always and I always said to everyone, mm. chase your dreams. Bro. Chase it. No matter what happens, do it. We we are gonna make it. Mm. There is gonna be ups and downs like a yo yo, but nothing's perfect. Absolutely. And the fact that you went to identity, so after identity, what happened after that? So like after identity, so like yeah. I'm I was there for like a year or two. Okay. And then I'm like, this is great and all, but yeah. I felt like I needed full time training because yeah. that time today, I'm I was not that term like five yeah. six years ago, like. I thought I knew a lot. I didn't. I okay. didn't at all. So I was like, no, I need to go full-time training. I need to go full-time training. Yeah. And then, so I was looking around these drama schools. I was in like my final year of college. And I was like looking at the, you know, the Radas, the Lambdas, yeah. um, E15, Rose Bruford, all of them. So I was looking around and I had my auditions and I got into, I got into a Lambda Foundation. Okay. And, and then I got um, Rose Bruford, European Theatre Arts and E15 World Performance. So there's a funny story because um, like when I got the foundation, I was like, okay, but like I was weird. I thought it was weird thing because um, mm. I didn't want to do four years in it. Like I was like, oh, all my friends are going to be doing three years in uni. So it's four years straight. No, so obviously foundations like before a degree. Okay, cool. So cool. then you'd have to do a foundation yeah. and then do your three year acting training. Yeah. But you might not, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get into the three year acting training. Yeah. So I was like, wow, well, like, I don't want to be 22 and then coming out of uni, then all my friends are going to finish before yeah, me. Yeah. Like, I was like, nah, man. So, but I asked my dad anyway, I was like, oh, like dad, like, do you have like 14 grand to like pay for a foundation course? <laughs> Bro, well, my dad's a working class man. Like, yeah, yeah, he does yeah. domestic cleaning. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, 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 like son, was, are you okay, man? He was looking at me like, how <laughs> like we did. Like, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I got X that, can't do that. And I got to the final round of Rose Bruford, but I never get, like, I went to the list and my name weren't there. And I was like, bro, like, snap like what do i do like yeah. and then so then i got before i got home i got an email saying they want to see me for european theater arts and then by this time i only had like european theater arts or world performance at like, 15 so i didn't get into straight acting no course i didn't get in yeah. so i was like bro like do i wait do I, what do i do and then and by this time i'm slightly like ending with identity because i'm like i want to go full-time training that's the thing i just need it you want to pursue the yeah like I, I i don't want to I was intelligent, like I was struck between doing accounting and business at uni, but I was like, for me personally, go for your dreams if like, at least say you tried. Yeah. Like, that's my own thing, like, try first. If you don't try, you, you will never know. Yeah. So I was like, okay, boom, let me just go for it. Got to European Fair Arts now, and it was a it was, it was a different experience for me. So I'm coming from a college, Christ the King, very multicultural, very diverse, and then I'm going to spaces where I'm the only black guy in my class. Yeah. Now, as an eight, as me now, that's fine. I can hold my own in my skin. I know who I am. But as an 18-year-old Montel, completely different experience. He's the only person of color. Yeah, so there's another black girl, but she weren't in my class. Okay. So there's like two cohorts. So I think ethnic people, there's like one more Asian girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was the only black guy. And I was, yeah, so initially walking into that space, I'm like, okay, cool. Right. This is different because I've just come from a college where Man seen Ade, yeah. Adiola, like I'm seeing all different type of people, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then I'm coming to a space where people are identifying me that I'm black. Like, I know I'm black, okay, cool. So you're coming out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And you're going to somewhere where you're not used to, no, I'm not used having to this all. type of people looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I found myself like, you know, like in drama school, you go in there in like tracksuit, like yeah, you go in like yeah. a black tracksuit because, you know, you're going to move around in that. Yeah. But then go to the point where, the black tracksuit was adding an extra layer on the connotations behind it. Like, yeah. so it was like, people asking me, oh, like, like do you sell weed? Like, all these dumb questions. And I'm like, In that drama school you're in? In the same space that I'm, I'm standing right in front of them in the same room, bro. I think that comes to arrogance and um, lack of education. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, like, I wouldn't say that's racist. Mm. I'm just saying people have their own type of opinions. And obviously people, some people are not educated in a black mm. manner. Mm. So... So if you're yeah. not educated, you're going to ask those type of questions. So, you know. Yeah, so that for me was just like, wow, like, I'm yeah. thinking, and again, like I said, I'm a comedian, I can mix in different type of people yeah. and whatnot, but it got to the point where I couldn't, I was looking around the room and I, I can't even really talk to someone on a real level. Like, yeah. I'd be like, how are you right? How's the day been? Cool, cool, cool. But having a genuine conversation with someone, I was struggling real hard. And I'm like, going back to my dorm, and I'm like, I'm dreading going into class. Yeah. And if you know me, I love acting. So when I'm like, bro, like, why can't I, why do I, I can't get up to go in this room? I don't know what it is. Like, I'd rather play FIFA all night. Well, Seriously. Like, yeah. but it wasn't the fact that I didn't care for it. It was just like, that space, I, it didn't sit right in my soul. Mm. It literally just didn't. 
So like, I remember I would have a conversation with like, the teachers and whatnot. I'm like, hey, like, I'm feeling a certain way. And, you know, they would have trying to have conversations and they're trying to make me connect with you know fellow other black students in the in the in the school and whatnot. To make you feel comfortable. Yeah, to make me feel comfortable. And I'm like, I'm just like, that's great and all. Yeah. That's fine. But it's like, it's deeper than that. Yeah. Like it's like, okay, cool. I see a familiar face, but it's deeper than that. I'm like. On you lot's side of things, how do you not get? How, why am I the token one? Yeah, like why yeah. am I, why is only one one black boy, one black girl? Yeah. Like why there's a class of like thirty? I can't remember the number, but yeah. that's my question. You know what I'm saying, and I know there's talented people out there from all different backgrounds. So I was like, mm, cool, and then I got to a point where I didn't want to go in anymore. And this was I was nineteen at the time. It was probably my hardest point in my life ever. I decided to drop out. I dropped yeah. out of drama school. So not a lot of people know this. Like yeah. I dropped out. No, my parents saw this, like, I was just like, I'm not going in no more. Was it, was it, did you drop out because of, you felt discriminated because of the colour of your skin and the weight, or did you drop out because you think that you was not in the right, you know, in the right drama I mean, school? A bit of both, a bit of both. I would never say no one directly said any mad things to me. I could, yeah. I would never say that. But it's just how I felt in those environments at the time. And, um, you know, I didn't feel welcomed as much like i would try and speak and back then like, my accent was raw like proper south london yeah, yeah, yeah. like them times there, so i could go into a yeah like, like, yeah majority white yeah type was, drama schools i'm wearing friend. bomber jackets and yeah, and yeah. black tracksuit but because i'm wearing black tracksuit because i need to wear black tracksuit yeah. i have two phones because memory's tight the next one so i like music on this one yeah, yeah. people ask me dumb questions i got k rolls like all these i'm jamaican like literally all these things and it's like no nah, i just don't feel happy here and plus it wasn't the direct course I wanted to be on. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm t- learning these things, don't get me wrong, I'm learning amazing things, but it's like, it's not the avenue that I directly want to go through. So um, I'm like, cool, I drop out. Like, I just start staying at home. Like, oh, in my the next step, as as you, as you yeah, out. so the next date was like, I'm getting letters home now mm. and I'm coming back to my house. And my mom's like, we did it. And I'm like, oh no, we got half day. Yeah. I'm lying to my so mom. So you're lying to I'm lying but to the mom. fact that you left. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I asked her one time, I was like, mom, I don't really like this. Like, yeah. And she was like, no, I just ride out to the end of the year. Yeah. But I'm like, well, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't ride it out to the end of the year. Yeah. You don't, don't know what it might go through. So I just, I just didn't go in. Then I'm getting letters home that like, are you going to come back next year? I'm like, no. Nah. Then from like 2015, I'm a bum, like man's on, like not in a rude way, like yeah. I've dropped out of uni, now I'm in debt, I owe accommodation, I'm not getting no student loan, yeah, I live, I, I have to pay my accommodation back, I have no job, I've dropped out of uni, all my friends, like I grew up with, I've gone out to like Cobb, DMU, Leicester, so I ain't got no friends, like it's just, so you're what, going through your face in life, what yeah. I do, yeah, 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 so like, and I'm a young adult, like I ain't got money in my pocket, like, yeah. and I haven't even told my parents. So like, I literally thought the world was against me. And I felt like there was a point where I used to watch TV and people that I've mentioned before, I used to see them on telly. Like, seeing my people that I grew up with on telly. Yeah. Like, man, like Amir, yeah. um, I mean, I'm Armin, sorry. Um, oh, big up Armin Khan um, as well. Armin yeah, Armin, yeah. he was yeah. in our drama school. He's yeah. doing a lot. Good yeah. actor, amazing. Very good actor, yeah. And I'm seeing people on telly and I'm like, like I'm, I was in spaces like them and I'm like, that could have been you. Yeah, and I know, I'm still young, but at the yeah. time, like, you feel like it's all over. Yeah. You think I've given up. Like, I literally thought I was giving up. I was like, literally just sitting there, yeah. not doing anything. I signed on to Job Seekers Allowance, trying to get a job, like, in debt. Like, I'm, I'm getting like 200 pound a month trying to pay back four or five grand yeah. of, of debt. At four or five nine, grand at, debt. At, at 19 years old. Like, it's mad. Like, going down a path where I'm, like, I'll be honest, I'm tempted to do illegal activity because I feel like, if I don't, I can't get out of my situations. I didn't, but I was tempted. I'm, I'm going to be honest. And it's like, it, it shows you how how your mind can wander from the situations you're in. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, cool. Um, I found it. And then, funny enough, so I, I, I bred in yeah. Andre. Yeah. So I bred in Andre, Andre James. Shout out Andre James. We got Andre um, James. in our class with us. Yeah. Um, he was going to St. Mary's University in Twickenham. And then... I think, I don't know what it was, I think. I, I had a girlfriend at the time. Okay. And she was like looking for unis and whatnot. And she was going there for open day. So I'm like, cool, I'm following you. Let's go with you. But I was like, right, I swear Andre goes here. So I'm just like, 
Oh, let me just one second. Let me just go and check the drama department. So let's go and check the drama department. Yeah. And then like I see it, and it's like really good. Like they've got a thirty-hour acting course there. Um, you know, gonna do a show in the West End and Red And I'm like, you know what? Like, this is kind of what I wanted. Like, this is, this is the the long term the the um the training that I kind of wanted. It's in London. It's what not. I don't have to travel far. I've learned from my mistakes. You know, I haven't had a job. Like, I had a job. I had the first job in like Lego store, and I got sacked off like two weeks. Like, <laughs> it just it was crazy. So I'm like, let me just go for it. Yeah, go for it. Like, obviously, I did my um, A levels before and that, so I got unconditional offer. Did an audition. Like, I knew I could act, so I wasn't worried about that. Yeah. Got in, cool. Got in now, uh, and I'm like, cool, right, Montel, you can't flop this time. You can't. Like, now or never. Now, yeah, now is yeah. like, now or never. So I'm going there. But I'm still scared because I'm, I'm now I'm tra- I'm traumatized of From uni like, experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I'm walking in spaces now, and I wasn't this time. I wasn't the only black person. Yeah. Um. There was a few more. There was like five or six of us, or like seven out of like forty five or fifty. But um, some of us sometimes were split up sometimes. But I was very south. Like I was a South London yeah, guy. Yeah. Innit? Like you could tell. Proper South. Yeah. London. Like you can tell I was different, even though there was people from different backgrounds. Yeah. You know, some people were from out of London, so their their upbringing was a bit different. So um, at first, I was still in my shell, I thinking, yeah, people are not gonna like me, or not. And I'm commuting from home this time because I can't afford a combination anymore. I'm still yeah. paying back for my so old one. traveling from your house. Yeah. Too. So I'm traveling an hour and a half. Every day, Monday to Friday, nine till seven. Wow. Yeah, going the grind, man. Bro, like literally, like I would get student loan, and every time I student loan come, I'll just buy an annual travel card. Like literally, I'm just the travel card and two hundred pounds for food, and I'm good to go. Like I ain't buying nothing glamorous. Like go yeah. prime up by tracksuit bottoms, I'm riding it out. Literally. So now you've you've experienced trauma. Yeah, from your previous uh, drama school. Now you've gone to another drama school. Mm. Now, this drama school that you've gone to, how long did you spend there and how did it like help you evolve to become an actor? Yeah, so I um, did a three-year acting course there. Okay. Um, and um, I met this amazing, amazing woman yeah. called Julie Spencer, okay. who is now the head of acting at Art Said. Big up, Julie um, Spencer. I love her to bits, like, yeah. honestly. Um, so, yeah, so I met her mainly in my second year. Yeah. Um, and she, she, she could see that I was, like, a good kid or, like, person that liked acting and was talented but I was still in my shell and she would just she would just talk to me and give me encouragement and a few others as well and then I literally just came out of my shell I don't know what it happened I don't know what happened but like I used to be I, in first year I was getting I was failing assignments yeah. getting two ones or two twos or three thirds no one didn't want to work with me yeah. like I would come late I would come to the class and not want to be there yeah. like it was because I still trauma that I didn't want like I felt like people didn't like me and I knew still I felt different yeah um and there was a mad stain like everyone started saying the same like where's Monty because I would never be here like, <laughs> it's mad, like it's mad. I was thinking wow like what are these things and then yeah. so when I met the same in second year she she really helped me um grow as an actor and then um what happened was um yeah, like we did, we did a course. I mean, we did a show. Um, I played like one of the leads in there, and then like I just grew as an actor. Like mm-hmm. I got a first. I felt confident in myself, yeah. and once I saw that I can do it, I got the bug again. Like I was just like, cool. Let me go workshops. Let me network. What else can I do to improve? And then by third year, I just became who I am today. Really, and had confidence. Um, I was able to get an agent for my drama school okay. as well. Um, Are you signed? The yeah, yeah so I'm okay, signed. Cool. I'm signed with um, Simon and Howe at the moment. Okay. Um, and yeah, like it, I, it happened from drama school. Yeah. And, and then I was able to be in my first show um, called Shabin at Nottingham Playhouse before I even graduated. Okay. So that was an amazing experience as well. Like I was able to work before I even graduated. So what is it like to work in the industry? Like are you, like what's your, what's your next goals right now? So like now that you're signed, mm-hmm. like, what's the next step? The my next step is to um, definitely like do some shows that are impactful okay. um, and to make a change and to touch yeah. um, people through entertainment, yeah. um, uh, through amazing stories as well. Like I, I love uh, television and film yeah. especially and I love theatre as well. Like theatre is home for me. Yeah. Like I love going somewhere, working on it for six weeks and grinding on it and then showing it to people, having an immediate reaction. But um, I definitely want to like have dreams and aspirations. Obviously, to work in America, okay, um, and Hollywood and stuff. 
or how else I know there's a plan yeah. towards it. It's yeah. not just oh, I want to work in America. It's like there's a plan towards it. There's a way to get to. Yeah, you know what I'm Like I've as I've grown up, that I realized the, the the logistics of how things work yeah. and what it takes to be in certain places. Um, I'm, I'm not. I can't say that I'm there yet completely, but yeah. I'm on the journey to making those natural transitions. Um, so yeah, so that's where my goals are at right now. Okay. I'm making content yeah. for myself and for my peers representation so my brothers and sisters can see like wow like that's me on telly yeah, yeah, like, yeah, do you know yeah. what i'm saying like, I, I feel like that's important because growing up of course we had the people that you know the ashley waters the letitia rights that people that we we saw yeah but coming from our backgrounds on a regular basis 100%. like now it's just like people are coming up and it's yeah, like yeah. yo this is sick i'm just gonna say because the fact that you know what i'm gonna ask you two more questions yeah, yeah. so how do you feel that people like um, John Biega, mm. Tisha Wright, and Idris mm. uh, Dempsey mm. are killing it right now in America in terms of UK mm. actors and actresses. Like, what advice would you give out to the people right now? The advice I would give is um, definitely just find a hub of creatives that you can explore and develop with together. Yeah. I think when I look at them, like they were in a class together. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that, that class, I wish I was a fly on the wall. Yeah, that class would be sick. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And like, but obviously they had their dreams, but yeah. they weren't in those positions yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, five, ten years later, they are. So it's like we can do it. Like yeah. I, I do. Like my mind doesn't go. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it will. Yeah. Um. So I feel like just putting yourself in spaces where you know you can meet like-minded people, um, create stuff together. You know what? Like train like. That doesn't necessarily mean go to a drum school all the time. It may yeah. be part time yeah. classes. It may be um, you know doing self tapes with your friends and yeah. critiquing it, going to workshops, um, you know, and eventually putting yourself in the right places. Like like, like casting directors and agents, they need actors. Like the industry needs actors. Hundred percent. They need us more. Yeah, than we need exactly. Them. And I feel yeah, like yeah. we need to come with this mindset of like, oh my god, like I need to, I need to get signed or I need to be in front of this person they need you yeah, they yeah. need you that's right and i realize the best be the best version of yourself like don't i'm not trying to be john big or damson i'm not trying to be i'm trying to be one Douglas. yeah I, I don't know who that's going to be completely but i know it's going to i'm going to have my own identity um no pun intended but yeah like yeah, yeah, literally yeah. like that's <laughs> how i look it you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah i'm going to be myself and whatever that that means it's going to come to fruition eventually and so yes yeah, so i feel like we just need to just keep pushing and like, just keep grinding because you can't like it's Im- it's impossible for things not to happen if you if you keep moving. You totally know what agree. It's, Im- it's impossible. Well, I I I truly believe that you're gonna achieve your goals. Thank you, man. And the fact that you came from South London, and you dropped out of your previous drama mm. school, you faced traumas, you did get discriminated, mm. the people like it or not. But now you're going forward, and you and you have got an agent. Mm. And the fact that you did go to uh, um, identity drama school with the history that it has with all the amazing actors and actresses that is pushed out, I think that you're making an industry. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I think there's not a lot of people like you right now that are using the time and being consistent and like, still chasing the dreams. And hopefully that you will one day achieve the dream, and I will see you in Hollywood. Hundred percent, man. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. man. Hopefully. That's alright, man. Well, thank you, man. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this blog. Uh, so basically. Just let them know where they can find you on social media. Yeah, so my name is Montel Douglas, um, yeah, yeah. at Montel Douglas on all socials. Yeah. Um, on Instagram, it's Montel, M O N T L underscore Douglas, D O U G L A S. We've got a website, Montel Douglas.co.uk. Um, Twitter, exact same thing. So, yeah, man, follow me, hit me up. Um, in DMs, I don't mind. I can talk, we can ask questions. But, yeah, man, it's love, man. Thank you for That's okay, bro. Man. Thank you for actually coming Honestly, along. Man. Right, guys, man, that black man, I hope you guys enjoyed this blog. Check out for the next blog. Ciao. Big up.